to family Bible time. It's time for our quiz. And our story last week was on the fellowship of believers, Acts 2, 42 to 47. So our first question is, where did they go daily? The temple, they visited the temple daily. Question number two, what four things did they devote themselves to? One was the apostles teaching, two was fellowship, three was breaking of bread, and the fourth was prayer. Question number three, how did everyone help each other? They sold their possessions and land. Question number four is what four things did they do in their home together? They broke bread, ate food together, they praised God, and they had the favour of the people. Question number five, what did God do for them? He added to their number daily. It's now time for our story. And our story this week is taken from John 14, 1 to 14. So I'm just gonna find it quickly in my Bible. I will be reading, as usual, from the International Children's Bible. Jesus said, don't let your hearts be troubled. Trust in God and trust in me. There are many rooms in my father's house. I would not tell you this if it were not true. I am going there to prepare a place for you. After I go and prepare a place, I will come back. Then I will take you to be with me, so that you may know where I am. You know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to Jesus, Lord, we don't know where you are going. So how can we know the way? Jesus answered, I am the way and I am the truth and I am the life. The only way to the Father is through me. If you really knew me, then you would know my Father too. But now you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to him, Lord, show us the Father, that is all we need. Jesus answered, I have been with you a long time now. Do you still not know me, Philip? He who has seen me has seen the Father. So why do you say, show us the Father? Don't you believe that I am in the Father and the Father is in me? The words I say do not come from me. The Father lives in me and he is doing his own work. Believe me when I say that I am in the Father and the Father is in me. Or believe because of the miracles I have done. I tell you the truth, he who believes in me will do the same things that I do. He will do even greater things than these because I am going to the Father. And if you ask for anything in my name, I will do it for you. Then the Father's glory will be shown through the Son. If you ask me for anything in my name, I will do it. And that's our story for this week. It's now time for our explanation of what this means. 
Jesus here is declaring that he is the way, the truth, and the life. The way is meaning he is the way to the Father. The truth is that he is the Son of God, the Saviour, the Messiah. And the life is life everlasting, life forever, life in heaven with the Father. That's what Jesus is declaring here. So we can conclude that the only way to the Father is believing Jesus is the truth and the way to life forever, because Jesus is the way to the Father. It's now time for our discussion. And we have four questions as usual. And so the first one is, I wonder what your favorite part of the story was. Question number two is, I wonder what your least favorite part of the story was. Question number three, I wonder what we could take out of the story and still have the whole story. Question number four is, I wonder who you think Jesus is. Our prayer activity this week is an obstacle course prayer activity. What I mean by this is I want you to use things in your house to make an obstacle course, whether it's in your garden or in your house. And at different points, you need to stop and pray. And you can set where those are. And you can set what you are to pray about. But remember, prayer is about chatting with God and catching what he's communicating to us. So on your obstacle course, you need some chatting and catching sections. Thank you for joining me this week and I hope that you learned something new and my challenge really is to think about who you believe Jesus to be and whether you think he is the way the truth and the life that's what I want to leave you with this week